and the FDA also gave the green light for people to mix and match booster vaccines. News Channel 5's Amelia Young joins us live from the Metro Public Health Department this morning. Amelia, this is something that the CDC will need to consider before it's official. Yeah, that's right, Rebecca. I mean, before providers can even start administering these vaccine, these extra booster vaccines, um, the CDC has to sign off on that, and that's expected to come a little bit later today. Uh, the latest update happened when the FDA authorized booster shots of Moderna and Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccines. Previously, only the Pfizer vaccine had been authorized. Now, all of this means, for example, a person originally vaccinated with Johnson & Johnson could receive a booster shot with the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine or any other combination for that matter. There are still a lot of questions as we wait for the CDC's recommendation, like who should get boosters and when. A highly anticipated National Institutes of Health study published last week showed all the combinations of boosters increase antibody levels, though Pfizer Pfizer's and Moderna's boosters appear to work best, but officials do know people who initially got Johnson and Johnson's vaccine had a stronger immune response when boosted with either the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. Being able to mix them really opens the doors for a lot of people. For those that are not vaccinated, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get your vaccine. This virus isn't going away anytime soon. Well, about 11.2 million people have already received their booster shot. We'll make sure to send out a push alert later today when that decision from the CDC comes down. Back to you in the studio.